Hi ladies, how are you? Nice seeing you. Tonight, as you know, is Rosh Chodesh. And Rosh Chodesh, Rosh Chodesh Shvat. We say, she has a lot of good news, it's a initial of good news, Bezad Hashem. Um, Rosh Chodesh is a special holiday for women, you know why? No laundry. Uh-huh. Because that holiday belongs to us. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah. But why is it so, Right, when we were in the desert, right? So the men they sinned in the golden calf. And the women were not part of it. When Aaron asked them to bring jewelry, women did not want to bring jewelry. And it's not that they were stingy or they were greedy, they were not. We know that when uh, Moshe asked them to bring jewelry, uh, to bring their <coughs> stuff to the to build the Mishkan. They were the first one who came to donate, but they didn't believe in this golden calf. They didn't want to sin, and so Hashem gave them this holiday. They say that the main three holidays that we have, Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot, are parallel to our fathers, Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov. <laughs> And the 12th month was supposed to be for the 12 uh, tribes. But because the men sinned, so this holiday was taken from them and was given to the women. Mm. Think about this. Every month, uh, when a woman goes to mikvah, okay? So what happens? They compare the woman to the moon. The moon, as you look at it, sometimes it's full, sometimes it's so thin that you hardly see. Then it gets fuller and fuller. It changes all the time, right? But once a month, it gets, you know, it renews itself and gets full. So is the woman when she goes to make that. She kind of renews herself to her husband. And um, this Rosh Chodesh that we usually do it according to the, the moon, this is a holiday for women. So you don't have to work very hard this holiday, okay? If you don't want to make laundry, you don't make laundry. If you don't want to do hard jobs, you just don't do it. Make a nice, uh, I don't know, meal, sit and enjoy. In the time of, the, of, the, of our Torah, uh, the time of the temple, the time of the, uh, the kings, Rosh Chodesh was a very, very special day. Uh, we know King David refers uh, to it, that he had a special uh, meal for Rosh Chodesh. They used to sacrifice special sacrifice in the Holy Temple. So, special day for you. But today, we would like to speak about something else. Today, we would like to speak about how to build love in the family between husband and wife. This is a very classy subject, but every couple needs that. And um, to start with this, I'll soon give you, give you a questionnaire, okay? All kind of questions that I prepared for you. You can answer them, you can write down, you don't have to share it. If you want, you can share it, it's fine, it's up to you. But before that, when we speak about love, what, what's the first connotation that comes to you, com comes into your mind? Romance. Hmm? romance. Romance. Like? Date night. Okay. Alone time. Mm -hmm. No kids. Okay. <laughs> okay. What else? Together Hard work. Selflessly. You already speak about what is love and how to, okay? Hard work. Hard work, love? <laughs> what do you mean? You have to always work at it. You have to invest, right? Working. Okay, okay. But when you think about love, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? Physical attraction. Okay. Fantasy world. Huh? Fantasy world. Fantasy world. Everything's perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, people... Okay, there, there are these movies out there. Hollywood. They speak so much about love. They sing so much about love, right? What is this love that they are yearning so much for? What exactly are they waiting for? Attention. 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 To be seen. To be seen. To be attracted. To be attracted. That feeling. Hmm? That feeling like... What is that feeling? The butterflies. The butterflies. <laughs> okay. Okay. The heart. <coughs> what else? 
it looks like in the movies. They have these special movies. Perfect. Everything is right? perfect. Everything is perfect. Everything is nice. You're waiting for this magic, and magical cut. moment. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> <laughs> and they leave yeah, and that's happily it. after, right? Yeah, so... <laughs> um, it's beautiful. There's background music. There's uh, every, every. Usually, they look so beautiful in their women wears her beautiful gowns or dresses or whatever. Guys are handsome and nice and everything. <clears throat> but as you said, Olive, um, love is working very hard. But I don't, don't want to despair you, God forbid, and tell you, oh, love it's so hard and you cannot get it and and, and it's impossible and 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 no. Um, it's just that when we think about love, we want this romantic feeling and this will continue and and basically we want the gifts that come with this, but it's so hard for us to invest into it. I think it's more the yitzhara. her. Okay. It's, I feel like there's times when you're like trying and trying and you're almost there and then something happens. And then it kind of, you feel like a push away. Okay. And then you kind of like have to rebuild again and get yourself together. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like it's a it's constant work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's true. So there was this lady that um, comes to her husband. Her husband used to travel from time to time to the fair. Used to buy merchandise over there in a low price and come and sell it in a much much higher price, right? So she tells him, listen, my friends when their husbands go to the fair, they buy them my friends, their husbands buy my friends, what kind of gifts? Can you also bring me some gifts from there? He says, sure, but what kind of gifts? Whatever, she tells him. A nice coat, a piece of jewelry, something. He tells her, okay, but I need a lot of money for that. So borrow, and once you're going to sell here all your merchandise, you're going to make it up, don't worry. Fine, he wants to make his wife happy. He goes, he borrows and borrows and borrows money. And as he goes to the fair, first thing that he really does is to find his wife or oh, whatever she's requested. So he looks around and he sees this beautiful mink coat. He buys this number one to make my wife happy. And then he bumps to another um, a booth over there where they sell these very expensive uh, watches. Oh, brand new, brand name watches. So he buys, uh, and then he found, I don't know, a brand, a brand, name brand um, a, a bag or something, or whatever. So he buys a few gifts, but then he doesn't have money for, to buy uh, his merchandise. So he goes back home, everybody comes back home, and the woman is anxious, no, 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 did you bring me whatever? Of course, and he brings, and he shows her the coat, and he shows her the watch, and he shows her, the, and she's so happy, she's not, uh, but then she's asking him, and what about the merchandise? Did you buy anything? He's like, I didn't have money left for, for, for the merchandise. And she's like, are you crazy? What's the main thing? Why do you go to the fair to buy money? But, but yeah, but you wanted, you wanted the jewelries, mm -hmm. you wanted gifts, you wanted mm -hmm. stuff. He said, yeah, but those are secondary. This, only if you have some money left, you buy me. But you don't buy me this as the first, and then you don't. What is the idea behind this story? When we uh, want love, we think, oh, romance is so beautiful. And we have to put this music in the, in the background, and we have to put, and uh, we have to live exactly like those um, actors in the movies and, and, and those people and we think you know but if we don't invest okay this happiness won't last these things won't last we have to invest like you said before to make it work to make it um, to make it um, to make it good so I want to um, ask you now a few questions here there is a survey that was done in a Women's Day magazine. Listen to these numbers. 3,000 women, married women, okay, were in this study. And they asked them a few questions. Okay. 56% of them would not said that they would not get married with the man that they uh, fell in love years ago. Meaning, 56% of these married women are not happy in their marriage. Okay? 
76% of the women, of these women, married women, do not tell everything to their husbands, meaning they are hiding a lot of things. 49% of these women suspect that they don't know if their husband is having an affair with another woman or not. 76% of these women are dreaming about another man. They have a fantasy about that. 76? 76. This is a, this is a research done where, I'm sorry? A research that uh, was brought in Woman Days magazine. Oh, okay. 3,000 married women, not, not Jewish. It's done. 31% of them forgot what is to, to have relations. 32% prefer not to sleep together. Away, away, as much as far as possible from their husbands. And only 26% of these women are satisfied from their sexual life. Okay? Very sad, don't you think so? And I don't have to tell you what is the rate of the divorce in the Western world. is much, much more than 50%. Some of them are divorced a few times, not only one time. So, and whoever is still married, not necessarily is happy. Many people stay in the marriage, in the relationship, because they have to, because of all kinds of circumstances, not because they want. But it's like that in every, everywhere. Huh? It's like that everywhere. Okay, so... My point is, Regina, I want to work on how can we make the relationship okay, between us, husband and wives, much better. Not in a way that, hmm, what can I do, he's stupid, or I'm stupid that I'm in this, or, or, <laughs> or, or you know, make it better. So, pass on these papers, and let's try to answer some of these questions. Okay. You can answer up, uh, aloud, you can write it to yourself, you could, you know, I want to discuss about these issues, whatever I'm writing here, I'm asking here, and the idea is to make us think a bit, okay? Do you love your husband? Question number one. Should we answer on this? If, if you want, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can write. Can I just answer it to myself? You can answer it yourself. You can share it if you want. You don't have to share it if you don't want. So, um, why, why do I ask, do you, do you love your husband? Because as we said, the sentence before we said that many people are in a relationship just because they have to. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What's love? Oh, Haki, Haki, question number uh, 11. Please define. What is love? <laughs> okay, I'll get there. And of course, I won't be able to speak about all this in this show because it's, it's, it's a subject. It's a very, very deep subject. And Bezat Hashem, we're going to open it up slowly, slowly. For now, we're just going to speak generally about all these things. But Bezat Hashem will have the time and everything. Slowly, 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 slowly we'll open it up. So. I don't have a Facebook. Huh? I said I don't have a Facebook. Good. Good for you. Okay. Oh, you did? I think first you started on... Liking your husband, and that like turns into respect, respect turns into appreciation, and that appreciation grows into love. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, my husband is not the, is not the verbal type. He would never say I love you or honey, you're beautiful. He's not that type, and I come to accept that. But he shows me his love through the things that he does. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I think that's a very hard thing for all men to say. Yeah, he's no, so never he, did I hear him say I love you. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But maybe, I know that maybe through the practicing stuff that practicing it will mm. maybe if you start. Huh? Oh, it's like it's like it's like forcing someone to say something. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's not sincere. Yeah. Meaning like in in the way you can say but don't it. Like, he's he's like, do you want me to tell you I love you? Very easy not to say. show you or no. what no. do you mean by no. show? I never say I feel like my husband's out to me. He will say stuff, but 
don't know why I like that. It's, it's, I don't say it's it. He it's also personality. personality. things that he does yeah. for us. But family. wish I show it. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. <laughs> there was this uh, lady that she got married with her husband. And in her family, okay, when she grew up, for every little thing in the house, they used to say thank you. She gets a, a snack. Uh, thank you to her parents. She gets the parents because taught had the, the children to say thank you. Mm -hmm. When she got married to him, he just knows wants to say thank you. And it <laughs> bothered her so much. She would cry many times. She would get so upset and frustrated. Mm -hmm. She does so much to him, and it seems like he doesn't appreciate. He doesn't say thank you, and it bothered her a lot. So she spoke with one of her friends, and she, she suggested her, you start saying the thank yous. So fine. She used to, uh, she, she was brought up in this fam family, right? And she used to to these things. But every time, let's say, her little child does something for her, she's like, thank you, thank you so much, and she really appreciates, and she used to make a whole big deal for every little thing that her son used to do. Hearing that, hearing her, hearing, she didn't say anything to her husband. Slowly, slowly, out of, I don't know, 20 times, one time he said thank you. And it's not that, okay, maybe it could be that the first time he forces himself, but he learns, he, he gets the atmosphere, he takes it from the kids, he takes it from his wife. So slowly, slowly, there is, you know, there is a chance that uh, you know, people change when they when they marry. What's mm -hmm. the idea of marriage? To be everybody, to live everyone, everyone their own life, a comfortable life from before, it won't work out, right? So in, in marriage, you interact, you, 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 you live together, you come with totally different personality, he comes mm -hmm. with totally different personalities, and many times, sometimes it clashes, sometimes it's, but you, you learn how to live with one another, right? Yeah. So, so what is this love that we're talking about? What, what do I mean when I'm asking, do you love your husband? <coughs> so a girl will tell me, I had this bride, a long time ago, her name was Natalie, and Natalie tells me, I'll cook him the best stuff that I know. <laughs> Every time he comes, I'll cook him the best meals, few courses, and all kind of varieties and stuff, and I'll make sure the house is sparkly and clean, and I will make sure that da, 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 da. I say, it's so beautiful, I, I really like it, but when a husband gets married with a, with a woman, or a man gets married, what exactly you look for in the marriage? What do you look for in a marriage? The house should be sparkly, the house, uh, the food is going to be ready. What exactly man wants? You can have a cleaning lady for that, or, or a cooker for that, or something. He wants somebody to share his life with, right? Right. So, to take care of his physical needs, is this love? For some people. For some people. That's their language. Huh? I'm saying, like, for some people, that's their language. Okay. I mean... But many times it's not enough. Mm -hmm. You need more than that. Because when you get married, you want to share everything, you know, spiritual and physical and, 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 and whatever, whatever. So when we speak about caring for him, it's not like you, your little kid, you have to take care of his of his needs, otherwise he will get lost, he doesn't know anything, he won't find his shoes, he won't. your husband is not a little kid, he's an adult. <laughs> so, sometimes. But sometimes they're like little kids, right? <laughs> <They're> like little kids. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs more than that. So, what's love? All the questions are for you to think, next week we're going to open up more and, and more, think about this. We're going to develop it even more. What was the last time you told him that you love him? Today. Every day. Huh? Every day. Every day? Do you get this in, in, in no. turn? No. I don't do yes. that every day. Yeah? He tells okay. me he loves me. Good. Yes, he does. Okay, okay. <laughs> Some people, <laughs> and I realize the more people, <laughs> the more people live Why? with each other, the meaning... Can see. They check the, sometimes the phone. So. So the kids are not around, right? I love you. <laughs> or like, be ready, you know? Ah, oh, took a sack. <laughs> you, know, so you don't have to watch out for the text messages. It's true. <laughs> Haki, I'll go to text messages in a second. Um, yeah. Many times people forget to say I love you, and they don't, it's hard for them. 
Yeah, so what does he mean when he said, or what exactly he wants from me now? Oh. This is, this <laughs> is something that many times women are afraid to say I love you because what he will demand right now, or... Mm -hmm. hmm? Strings mm -hmm. attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you... Um, so, let's go, let's go and continue. <laughs> Do you think your mother or grandmother had love in their marriage? After. Huh? After slowly, some slowly, time, they got yes. maybe they get used to each other and they get comfortable and it becomes a... Uh, I've never I heard don't know them if it's say, love. I love you verbally. No, I, no they're just comfortable they, they with each other. Like huh? respect. I mean, I never heard my parents argue in front of us. Like There was like mutual respect. Okay. But, like, I've never seen my father, like, kiss my mom in front of us, you mm -hmm. know? Like, mm -hmm. like none of that. Or, I love you. I would say thank you. So, I don't know. My father does a lot for my mom, so I, I, we viewed it as, like, he loves her. Oh, my gosh, she's vacuuming the house. He loves her. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, it's, it's, like, memories from childhood. Oh my God, he remember? Dad used to wash the floors. Like, you don't really see many men helping, you know what I mean? For my parents' generation, so... Our family like, like valued that about my dad. So we like saw it through actions. I mean, like any man can be a good talker and say I love you, but I feel like if he doesn't show it with his actions, it's really not love. Okay. So he can say many things, I love you, but I feel like actions are louder than words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my husband's yeah. motto. So let's think again. People in the past, oh, generations ago, were happier than today. It's no, they were happy. What? Mm -hmm. So what? They just accepted what they had yeah. because they, they didn't want change. But I feel I like their love change. is more is more genuine than ours is. I don't know because you know like theirs was they got married and then they really got to know each other yeah. as opposed to us where we dated and I mean however long you dated it was definitely much longer than For sure. But girls, I feel like now demand more. Mm -hmm. They know that they have high expectations, but mm -hmm. back then, oh, you're marrying into a wonderful family. And I feel like to a girl, that meant like, oh, yes. Like, yes, I got my share, you know? I don't think she views Does materialistic things. Whereas of now, they do. Mm -hmm. So that plays a big role, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Our parents' generation, I feel like, well, before that, that, that was the love was more genuine than anything else. And than right now, at least. I don't know. So I want to speak to you a little bit about the digital world that we live today. It's changed our life so much than used to be in the time of our parents or our grandparents. Years ago, you couldn't really be connected with people from your past. Let's say you learned in high school, okay, with uh, all kinds of students. It was hard for you years ago to keep in, in, in touch with them because uh, the telephone, only one telephone in the house, no cell phones back in, in time, right. right? One telephone in the house, if they change it or not, you have to search until you're going to find this number and then to make sure that they're home to answer your phone because if they're not home to answer your phone, you couldn't really, and then to ask his parents a favor and ask him where he is. It will be so much difficult and complicated today it's so no much easier, huh? You have no peace from these phone rings. It's true, Haki, I'll come to it. It's so much easier today you know, to be connected, to be in touch, because you have the cell phone and you have the emails and you have the, all these um, social networks and everything and everything. Very easy. In a, in a way, it's a whole big trap because you get to keep connections with people in the past you know, sometimes you already forgot from these people, but now that uh, you you keep people are keeping coming back to to their school, to their high school, who were they equated with, and 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 so they check up on uh, what do they do now, what did they achieve now. So your friend has all of a sudden a, a master degree, and you don't have it yet, or or he he reports he posts that he has a BMW, let's say, and you don't yet, and or he lives in this huge house, and, and bothers you, you know, like, you start to compare, like, look at him, look at me. Or mm -hmm. you start to create all kind of connections with people in the past, and it bothers to all kind of relationships that you are with today. You know? oh, so the spouse could be jealous, could, could envy, mm -hmm. and, and it bothers, it, it doesn't go together. So... 
years ago, when people used to go to work, they work, let's say, from uh, 9 to 5, and that's it. They go home, and, and that's it. That's about it. Today, they expect the workers to be available 24-7. Even mm -hmm. after you finish your job, okay, you have to be available either through emails or through, I don't know, uh, on call, on call, WhatsApps, uh, all kind of ways. People that c they connect to one another, and uh, they expect you to be available all the time. So there's no really uh, a separation between working hours and your free time. Um, years ago, um, years ago, people. Um, when they were connected, not so much with these uh, phones, uh, telephones, and, and cell phones, but when they had a connection with with, uh, with people, with their friends, they would speak. Oh, long talks, deep talks. They would talk. Today we hardly speak. Pay attention. If years ago we used to speak on the phone, today we have text, and people prefer text than talking on the phone. Yeah. The other day I had a sore throat and I couldn't speak. It was bothering my husband. He said, just text me. I can't hear you. <laughs> and, and, and so people, they communicate less and less because of this digital change that we have in our life. And, uh, and, uh, and, um, okay, these are some changes that happened. Now, Back to question number five. Do you feel, do you think that your parents or grandparents had stability in their marriage? Yes. Okay, why? Okay. I don't know. I feel like nowadays people, if they get pissed at their spouse, they, I'm going to divorce you. You know, it's, I don't know. I feel like it's so much easier to say something hurtful and mm -hmm. not care about it as opposed to it. Why? End, you know? why? Why? I don't know. Hmm? Maybe it was taboo to have a divorce. It was. Mm -hmm. So you maybe women were, or maybe just spouses were more tolerable to. That's not. They were. <laughs> maybe women have more power because they're in the workforce. Yeah, it's so true. They, you, when you feel that can. you have an income, you feel you have a say. Of course, things changed. Okay. When people used to get married years ago, it would be for life, yeah. for eternity. Right? Today, we're living in a, in a generation of instant, we call it. We have one-time use cups. We have one-time use, um, <coughs> I don't know, people wear socks for one time and then they throw it. People wear, uh, you, you don't have respect for object like it used to be you know, in the ten generation of our parents or our grandparents. They used to live in the time of wars. It wasn't, so, we didn't have so many things at home like, like today. And I feel like it's very hard, like, I mean, I'm taking, I take that upon myself very seriously in my home, like, you need to treat even objects with respect, and I feel like if that's not presented in the school, it's very difficult for the kid to value that at home. And I feel like no matter how much you do at home, if the outside world lives their life like that, I feel like it's very hard even to kind of place that on your kid. Imagine a wedding in Russia... 50 years ago. I'm not talking about 2,000 years ago. I'm talking about 50 years ago. How was it? All made at home. All made at home. home. Chickens. You had to work so hard to slaughter all these chickens and to clean all their... My mom said, oh, three недели, говорит. Курицу где-то делали, пар-пар делали, все заворачивали, все... It's yeah. true, it's true. It was a very hard job. <laughs> and they didn't they have so much, I don't know, if they had <laughs> refrigerators, <laughs> and I don't know if they had... Everything was fresh, everything was done, yeah. and they had to invite people home. No yeah. catering. You do every, you invest so much in something, and you do something, something, you're not going to call so easy the wedding off. You're not going to say, oh, t t who needs this marriage? Or oh, I don't want to stay in this relationship. When you invest in something very hard, you work. Today, we invest, okay? Weddings today, Baruch Hashem, they look, oh, so much money. What do you invest? You invest money. You don't really go and sell the dress, or you don't really go and, and, and you, 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 you give money and somebody does it for you. And yeah, it's a lot of money, it's so much more than years ago, but because you don't pay attention so much, you just 
earn, 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 and then you just uh, give it away. So you don't have value in a way to certain things, and so it's a big deal. So we'll we'll start it all over. <coughs> this is this generation, generation of instant. You know, nothing is important, nothing is valuable so much, and so it's easy to uh, give up. Who needs? Who needs to work so much on a, a, a marriage? Because in today's generation, it's let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, we can always divorce. This is the attitude. And when the attitude is this way, so it's not a big deal. It didn't work out. So she's divorced and she's divorced. And I'm not the only one. Okay? Plus, people get benefits if you're a single mom <laughs> and all kind of other stuff, whatever, whatever. So <clears throat> I think they did have stability, and you know that. Uh, uh, so maybe they didn't say, I love you every second, yes. But uh, they did have a very deep respect. There was no other way. Everybody li lived a certain way. They lived with their mother-in-law. Who lives today with their mother-in-law? Oh they lived with their mother-in-law. It was more of a... I think... I love my mother-in-law, but... It was a habit already. There was no other way. There was no other way. It was a habit to live. It's true. That's true. And you learned a lot of things from your mother-in-law. Things that you didn't st learn you know, when you were single. You know, if you look at this in a good way, right? Mm. And uh, maybe, yeah, there was a tension, but hey, today there's no tension. She says something that you don't like when she lives in Arizona and it bothers you. <laughs> okay, so. <coughs> um, maybe that's what it was about <coughs> for them to express their love. <laughs> okay, so now we're talking about these uh, social networks, about Facebook and stuff. People allow themselves open up to uh, sometimes strangers, sometimes uh, boyfriends from the past, from 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 <laughs> high school or something, and they think that it's normal and and it's fun and it's cute and it's nice and why not? But it can. It can ruin your relationship with your husband. Do you agree with me? Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Absolutely. So, um, when we say that you have to be very, very tsanua, tsanua means modest, is in this aspect too, not only in clothing that you don't have to expose yourself, right? But also, would you tell your, your deepest secrets to somebody else than your husband, you know? It's not appropriate. When you feel that you can open up to somebody else and not your husband, this is something, it's not him to be blamed only. It's you too. Why can't you open up to him? What is missing there? What can you work on the relationship to make it better? Okay? We'll talk about this later too. How does your dinner time look like? Sometimes kids running around. Okay. Yeah. You mean normal. regular day? I make him a plate and I go upside and sleep and he comes 11, 12. Oh, he comes so late? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe one, two, sometimes. Oh, wow. What is he doing? He owns a business. Oh, Benta. wow. Wow. So you don't have time together to I'm eat? Home breakfast? You don't yes. Have, you, have, you have time breakfast yeah. to eat? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so he doesn't use public bathrooms. <coughs> so he's always, he comes home. So that's when I'll make him some snack or some lunch. Even so by the way, he home. doesn't use public No, bathroom. he doesn't use public bathroom. Okay. No. So he's so always like home Okay. when he needs to <laughs> be. The reason that I ask this question is, do you have no, quality time together? Hmm. But at least twice a day. Quality daily? time daily. Pretty much. Alone? Alone. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't have to be two hours. It could be Quality. ten minutes. Ten minutes. Just hear but me out. questions and answers and how was your day and, and you tell him something that bothered you or you tell him oh. a good no, news or you tell that. him no 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 not always <laughs> bad things. Mm -hmm. Something you, you want to share with him. I don't know. About your job, about your I don't know, if you want to speak about family, it could be Lashana, but all kind of stuff. And but you can talk to one another. That's very important. During meal, we know that it's much easier because it's not so formal and so like, okay, give me a report. So what was the day? It's not. It's not so formal. And and food, you know, it it brings people close to one another, which is very very important. If your meal, the question is like that. If your meal is, 
You have to answer the phone. You have to answer. You you got a text message. You got uh, WhatsApp. Uh, another thing, and, 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 and you have to run to the TV to see something, and the radio said something, and, and the telephone calling again, and your mother-in-law and your father and your brother. If the meal looks this way, mm, you're missing a lot. You have to have some quiet time with him, whether it's during the meal, or it's this 10 minutes after the meal, it could be uh, before you go to sleep, it could be early in the morning, if this is the time that he is at home, it could be during the, I don't know if he can, if you can just call each and every he day to each other day. for 10 minutes a day, and you can speak and chat about nonsense, whatever, that's good too, no? I have no time. You have no time? Work. Mm -hmm. How can you talk like, like, with during your, your boss there? No, no, no. So if you cannot do it a yeah. job, so other, some other time during the day or during the night or whatever. Don't leave it just for Shabbat. It is such a waste if you leave it just for Shabbat. Um, you have to have some time with one another. Start with good things. You know, good news, uh, something interesting that you heard. And if it's hard for him to open up, he will open up slowly, slowly. Once it's not... If this... Quality time is just fix the bathroom, <laughs> clean this, call this one, call this one, so he, he won't like it, of course. But if you make it interesting... What if he never opens up? Like, you share stuff with him and he's like, he feels like reporting all these things is nonsense. Mm -hmm. We have to report everything? Like <laughs> what, he, what is he comfortable talking to you? About the children? About the kids? Yeah, kids but then always not, talk about yeah, what else? Besides, besides this, how much besides can you talk about it? It gets boring. There's nothing right, to talk right. about. So besides this, <laughs> especially no. if like so your housewife, it becomes you like, know. Oh, like, I did laundry. I did shopping. Yeah, because you, you haven't called me today. Uh, were you shopping today? <laughs> like, yeah, this is what the day is like. Pick up the kids, do the homework, judo, tutoring. Okay, next, you know, I'm making dinner. Like, you already know my schedule. You tell me how's your day. You know, you're the one who goes out to work. Fine. No, but not, no, 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 but not, 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 not only this. Sharing, I mean, not only how was your day. Sharing, I mean, you heard nice about Torah. You want to share it with him? What do you think about it? No, I just heard. We don't want to talk about these kind of things. I'm sorry.